Yeah, let me tell you, filming on Instagram is like a lot. Going live on Instagram, it's so like, hey, the pressure is insane. Uh, <laughs> so let me go But um, let me go get other plants. Oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, this will be, this will be good. Let me get the plants set up and then we can go and chit chat. But um, yeah, give me a second. <laughs> Ready, so I literally thought I had so many, a lot of plants, but I really don't. I wanna show you guys what I got, a little plant haul first. So this is a really cute variegated um, bear palm. Here is the actual name. My nose are dirty because I was messing with the dirt on Instagram because I was going live on Instagram and doing the moss pole, my first ever moss pole. And I learned a lot. So if you wanna go and see that video, the live video, on Ensley, you can go and check it out. But this is a really cute variegated bear pot. I am super duper excited to grow it. And they got some really cute small pots to repot it in and to ricotta, of course. And they got this really other one, this super beautiful succulent. It's a moonstone or moonstones. Gorgeous. Like it's literally so beautiful. It has like a green and purple and a blue hue. Obsessed with it. And then this next one is also gorgeous. I don't know what it is, but these succulents really were talking to me. And succulents thrive and neglect. And y'all know that I underwater my plants, so sometimes I neglect them a little bit. So they should thrive. And I obviously will be placing them in really high light. So basically in those white lights that you see in the bottom. And it's called, I'm like, can try to pronounce it, but it's a Grab, Grab, Tosedon Hybrid California Sunset. So yes and then i got this other one the last succulent that i got and it was for seven dollars it's called tall what the fuck <laughs> what here's a the thing if you guys want to go and try to read it it's super beautiful though a leaf broke off which i can just propagate it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just leave it on top of the plant and when i see roots i'll place it in soil like put a little bit of soil on top and so i can see a little baby popping up but it's such a cute and also the fact that it was a ceramic pot it's kind of insane for that price um i'm obviously not gonna let it be here there is no drainage hole actually i don't feel one but sometimes it's heading under the sticker so let's go and figure it out oh so it does literally it did have a drainage hole but it was heading under the sticker um which is great but yeah this ceramic glaze pots i guess I, that's what we call it is going to be for another plant like maybe like a maranta or something like that and this second will, will be um growing in a, in a um, terracotta pot because <laughs> succulents don't like to be moist ah wait what the hell what the okay it's the same the same thing i was like did i just like bought a cheap plant and not like any okay but no it's the same stuff literally the same stuff but Super duper cute. And then I also got this really cute, um, it was on clearance for $10, this teddy bear vine. I always wanted one, but I just can't see myself paying $20 for it. But $10 for this hanging basket, it looks really beaten up. But I feel like if I place it in a really good spot and I take care of it and give it, give it some TLC, it should bounce back. And I wanna save it. I don't know, I guess I feel like nurturing something right now. So um, like, you know, helping something out. And this should do that for me. Also, like I said, I always wanted one and I love like the back of the leaves. It's like velvet and purple. Lastly, I got this really cute um, carnivorous plant. My boyfriend, I got one for my boyfriend too because he loves carnivorous plants. I think it's called the Venus Flight Trap. And here is the actual name if you want to know. It was for $8.98 at the Home Depot. I am literally stupidly excited. Uh, this will be my first, I mean, I've had carnivorous plants back then, but I always kill them. I'm going to try again on this one. I got some tips with my boyfriend. And this should, I should probably be able to like, you know, get this done. And this is not from today. All, all these plants were from today. But this is from yesterday. It's this beautiful Marble Queen Potos. It was for seven, $17, which is literally insane for this massive hanging basket. A lot of them looked really, really bad. Like they had a lot of cold damage and stuff. This was one of them that looked pretty, pretty good. It's gorgeous. And I love me some Potos. All right, enough rambling. Let me talk to y'all a little bit. Um, as y'all can see, we're going to be doing a repotting video and also making some moss poles. I am literally super duper excited to do this with y'all. Like honestly, I was my first moss pole is like right over here. I think the fan's fine. I'm gonna leave the fan on because like it's gonna get way too hot. Oh, also I got my I got literally guys, I spent so much money today, but it's perfectly fine. Um, tax deductions on a lot of these plants and my potty mix and stuff like that because I use it for content. 
Um, so yeah, but I made my first mouse poll on Instagram and <laughs> let me tell you, I learned so much, so 1000%. Sorry, I have to like get some coffee because like, I am so drained, burned out, stressed out, and sleepy and tired. <laughs> um, but I need to make content, I need to work, and yeah, like, I have another company that I need to work on as well, but I'm just so... Like, I don't know, I'm just getting tired of the other company and I just want to focus on YouTube and Instagram because I love plants. And the fact that I can get like, you know, paid for it, like that's literally amazing that I can get into an actual job. But yeah, I need my, some coffee because like I am literally, my brain's going a thousand miles per hour but my body starts to shut down. Also like tomorrow, I am getting my dining set which is why I'm using my dining table that I bought from Walmart. I bought a new dining table. It's, I'm so excited. <laughs> Cause like, I don't know, I have a really, really big family and um, we need more sitting area. Like whenever they come over, I always run around like a crazy person, like a chicken without a head, looking for some seats so they can sit. Cause I, you know, you know, some sitting area or it's just, it's literally insane. I also ended up getting, um, my boyfriend was like, oh, let's just over my name. I paid my hard working money for this. I got a beautiful sofa set as well. I'm literally super, super excited to make my home more homey for them. I'm not saying they need like, you know, expensive furniture or just, you know, new furniture to make it homey. Like you really, really don't like at all. But the fact that I had the privilege to like um, get a credit card from cons and being able to like, obviously I'm using it responsibly. I know my limits, I zero interest for three to six months. Um, <clears throat> but I am obviously I'm always, now, of course, if you don't pay your bills on time, like you're gonna get interest and fees. But I always set my, my all of my bills, and no one just texted me. I always set my my stuff on like auto pay because sometimes I do forget, but the auto pay always covers my butt. So yes, um, and to be honest, like I said, I have 36 months to pay it off, but I'm planning on paying it off within like one year. Like my goal is to pay the, the entire dining table and the entire dining the uh, sofa set within. Eight months. Um, my, I'm supposed to be paying like $141 a month, but my goal is to pay off like $500 to $600 a month. Um, because I do want to get rid of it, and also because my mom liked the idea of it too. Um, I also love that it builds your credit, which I'm really trying to build my credit right now because I'm trying to qualify for a house next year. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Um, <laughs> also, my mom, I, I, I told my mom, like, if I do get a house, I want you to live with me because she's a single mother, she's a hard working woman, and she loves her privacy, everything 1000%. But her and I are totally down to live together and she's taking care of me and I want to take care of her. Um, I told her like, I'm always gonna have a room dedicated for you and for my brothers too. Um, Cause like, you know, yeah, so. And she actually is really, really down to move in with me when I get my house. I'm super, super excited. Which comes to be like a couple months later on, like literally on my birthday next year, um, which is the first month in Naruto Siete. But yeah, like I said, there's just so much to talk about. There's so much to do and it's literally insane, but I'm super duper excited that I got, I just have such an amazing family here on YouTube that I can talk to and just rent to and just, just be myself with you guys. Um, sorry, again, I'm not gonna edit this video. So if you guys wanna like chit chat or like, you know, just have it, I don't know, I don't know, but like, I am not gonna edit this y'all. Like I am literally so burnt out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm sorry, but mm -mm. Mm. even though my videos are becoming that kind of style, which is fine. Okay, I need my wire, and the first moss pole, the, the wire that I did, I'll, I will have everything linked down below for y'all to be honest. I, I don't know if I can have the the potty mix and the sphagnum moss because I get that from the big box stores, but I'm, I will try to find something similar for y'all. Oh, here's the wire, I'm like looking for it. And the tijeras too, I got this from Home Depot. Here is the wire. Um, I was using Dolly Tree scissors, y'all. Like that's literally, I. I and then somebody in the live told me like just use nug clippers and I did and it worked like it literally as y'all can see it worked but I did cut off too much and I want to see how much I overlapped so it seems like I did a lot um which is great I can cut it a little bit less and that means I can have more for more moss poles and I'm going to mix them for my mom for my grandma for my brother um well I don't know what my brother wants he only has one plant and it's like a dracaena um he liked it so I gave it to him <laughs> He, he, he said it looks like a palm, which it kind of looked did because like it was getting like, it had like the canopy look. Um, but I was gonna like, make some moss poles for my boyfriend. Okay, I'm just trying to like do this where I'm gonna cut it. 
I'm thinking exactly what it is, okay. I'm literally so excited. So, I was struggling so hard with the freaking nail clippers. It was so difficult. Woo! But now with this, girl. Mm -mm, David's not struggling today, Miss Girl. <clears throat> okay, just. I also hate the sound of metal. Like, I hate it so much. Like, like the sound of people like you know scratching a chalkboard or aluminum against like a fork. Oh my god, it makes my ears grind. I just I hate it. Uh, okay, but yes, you guys, I'm literally so excited. So that's my fancy key that's on that pot. The pot is from Walmart. I paid four dollars. Kind of expensive, but it's fine though. Um, the Skeleton Key is from River Gardens, it was $20. The mesh, like I said, this thing was from Amazon. Sphagnum Moss from Home Depot. Um, the potty mix, the, um, the main potty mix, the bag, main, like, you know, the soil, was from, um, Walmart. And, uh, the, the stuff that I put on, I put perlite and this orchid mix that I see right now. The orchid mix, because it has, like, bark, charcoal, perlite, um, is from Lowe's. So, I think that's all of it. Because I get a lot of questions, people saying like, where do you got this from? By the way, if you're asking for the shelves, I also get messages from that. Um, they're from Ikea. I don't know what they're called. It's like a really bougie name. Like, oh, it's a different language. Um, I think so. But just search a white glass shelf. Um, it will pull up on Ikea, 1000%. Um, you have to like possibly like, you know, browse a little bit, but you'll find it. I paid $80 for it, I think so. And I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five of them. With my hard work, people, okay. Back then, people would be like, you're so spoiled, this and that. Cause people, some people find it difficult to believe like a guy like me can like afford an apartment like this and have all these plants, have all these kind of stuff as well. And just, you know, like all this stuff and people don't believe like, y'all, I work so, <laughs> Yo me, like this in Spanish, yo me frego, okay, yo, like I got it from my mom, my mom works non-stop, my dad too, he's, he's a really smart guy, um, but my mom has always motivated me to like, if you want something expensive, you need to, you know, you need to work really, really hard for it, like, not, like, not, you know, poop, but, <laughs> obviously, but like, it really, like, I'm really, how can you say, I'm, I know what I like and I know what I want, but I don't expect people to get it for me, like, I'm gonna get it for myself, you know, um, yeah, no. Nah. Okay, but yeah, like, why they even went, went to that route? <laughs> oh yeah, the plants, but look at the shelves. So yeah, they're from Ikea. I literally love them so much. Like, they're just great. This is always so finicky to like bend because this is like not like plastic. It's like literally metal. Ah. <laughs> it's a little bit sharp, it's okay. I'm gonna close it. I should have got some water. That live was literally like all over the place here. Like, I kid you not. Okay, this is so like. Okay. Okay. I think that should work. It's not round, like perfectly round, but that's okay. Nothing's perfect. Mm. 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 Yay! And what I love about this is not like the other moss, moss poles, they literally like, flip over or they just can hold their own weight. But these, from what I saw on the, on the video, and like from what I'm seeing right now, they hold their own weight. I love that so much. I hate when moss poles move around. That's one of the main reasons why I never like moss poles. I'm mostly going to repot my amaryllis. She's finished blooming and now she's putting out on leaves, which means I need to place her in some soil so she can grow a lot better. Don't need to, but I want it to grow and put a just flourish and put all the energy from the foliage back to the bulb so it can bloom next year, if not the following year. But yeah, so oh, I'm running out of coffee. Mm. I freaking love these. These are double shot energy drinks from Starbucks. They're so freaking good. I'm gonna get another one, so. Uh, Basically, guys, it's going to be like a little you know, chit chat video. It might be like an hour long, I don't even know. But like I said, <laughs> just have it. If you have a lot of print charts to do, we can like, you know, do it together. Super excited. Um, but yes, like I'm honestly so thrilled that I'm actually doing moss poles now because like I always wanted one I always envy the people that had them and the plants derived so good But like I always was scared of the cons like not scared but I just never Watering them can be a little bit finicky. I just But I think I found some tricks so I'm looking at 
getting it to work for me and the the fact that it just tilts it falls down i just i hate that so much i know there's ways to like keep it still but like, mm -mm, girl i'm not working that hard like work smarter not harder okay that's my motive for me okay maybe you have something a different opinion maybe somebody else for me i'm like i am not working that hard mm -mm. the boy has things to do <laughs> i'm pretty sure y'all do too um okay um there's just so much stuff. I, I got these really small pots for those succulents. Literally gorgeous. Oh my god, you guys. I'm really posting a lot of... I'm being reluctant on Instagram. I'm posting some Instagram reels tonight. Not right now, but I, if y'all seen this video, it's already, already posted. Um, getting with my drink because like dirt and like spinal moss flies in here whenever I mess with that. And I don't want that in my drink. <laughs> Once I was like a little speck of like spinal moss, I was like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Um, what did I say? Yeah, I'm gonna, I saw some insane things at Walmart. Like, they had the same stuff as last year for the spring, like, you know, for plant accessories or whatever. But they have more stuff. They have, like, a propagation station. They have greenhouses. <laughs> you know those, you know, cheap, great, um, plastic, green, greenhouses? They have it at Walmart. And they have different versions. I'm like low key planning on getting one and putting a fan and a grill light for my and my finicky plants like my anthuriums and my ferns because there are some ferns like the made in her fern. She's beautiful. She needs a lot of humidity and someone's calling me. Okay, but she needs a lot of humidity and y'all like I am not. My plant room is not that humid. Also, I can put a carnivorous plant. I'm gonna tell my boyfriend about it too. I don't even know if I told him because he was going to like other sections like in the gaming section. But I think I did told him. Um, that would be great for his carnivorous plants, you know. <laughs> I'm like so scared to breathe like inhale because <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know but I don't know I think when, since when I was in, it's, it's always been like this but I noticed when I was in um, middle school I struggled to breathe like my nostril over here <clears throat> air doesn't go in for some reason I don't know why I think I need to get a nose job <laughs> no but <laughs> yeah like it's not she's not there with us so it's not, I, gotta, I gotta like breathe through my mouth or and I need breathing through my mouth I just don't like that um, for myself but sometimes I have to you know like a boy has to breathe like you know <laughs> and sometimes I gotta like you know and I breathe really aggressively like I feel like I'm a filter and I just suck up like a bunch of polvo and everything <clears throat> it's not cute but you know so yeah I was saying that because like there was like some stuff in the air because of the spider moss and I was scared to like you know inhale that there are some like leaves and twigs in this this is not your premium spine the moss, obviously. Um, but she works, okay? She gets the job done. <laughs> I used to use this for, for propagations and not for moss poles, but I think it's the same thing. It's, I feel like it would get the job done. Um, but this works great from um, propagation boxes and stuff like that. I use it all the time. My boyfriend is obsessed with it too. I haven't propagated with perlite. I've heard a lot, a lot of great things, but yeah. Okay, I might get my table dirty, but it's okay. It's the plant table. Um, so I don't really mind. And this is a plant room. By the way, so people were like questioning, like, do you feel like you, is that your plant room? Like, don't you get like a lot of dirt in your carpet and stuff like that? And I'm like, yes. And it was like low key nasty, but I'm still alive and I'm doing okay. Like, and the room is not musty. <laughs> I don't think so. I always open the windows whenever I can, whenever it feels too humid in here. And I do have an air freshener because, like, we don't want it to smell like soil. I'm sorry. I just, I went, I, before I used to walk in and it would smell like tierra. No, man. <laughs> no. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, ah, I'm making a lot of mess. But now I have this machine and it cleans the carpet, which is literally amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I can't use, I was, sometimes I want to use it like every other day or like every single week, but I can't. Um, cause it kind of like, t using it too much can damage, um, or age your carpet. Um, yes, it's an apartment, but I do want to take care of it. So I try to do it, whenever I see stains, I just use the machine. Um, and I've been using it like every, every other week, cleaning the carpet. And I, it's been looking, it looks a lot better. I got it from Walmart, it was like 
200 dollars just because it heats up and it's like pet pro i don't have any pets i mean i have valentino but i was like getting it for dogs mostly but i don't have dogs my cat she's not that messy but i want to do the best of the best um because like you know like i i don't know i just i don't know i just i don't like having problems like i'd rather buy something really expensive i always believe majority of the time i always say like and this majority of the time is true you get what you pay for so you know what i'm saying if you pay for a premium price you're not gonna get that many problems compared to if you buy something really really cheap majority of the time sometimes like there's some great deals okay i finished my moss oh um where's my zip ties oh it's me no, because like on the live, I was such a mess. Oh, I have mercy. Oh, here it is. See, like I got this. My hands have a little bit spun in the but it's fine. I love this smell. It's, what do you call it? It's like lavender and something like that. I love these wall plugs. They smell so freaking good. I have them in all of my rooms. <laughs> and like every place that I can plug it in in the house. Not, not that much because I know like I would. But it gives my work a little bit headaches. <laughs> um, I also love Bath and Butterworks. But he he likes scents that are not too strong. I love strong scents. Um, and we, if you shop at Bath and Butterworks, you know like, they're pretty strong. Um, that's why I love it so much. Sometimes some of the products like have like lower the quality. I don't know, like they're not as strong as before. But I don't know, like they're trying to like you know please everybody, so they make it some products that are like light fragrant. But yeah, so I'm starting to like zip tie the um, moss pole. I am gonna do like maybe like three or two. I do wanna put them with my, this one, I do have a dark red for the dungeon that I would love to place this on, but no, <laughs> not right now. I have some other ones that are on my list right now. I would love to place my shingles plants. My shingles plants, I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, actually, I might do that tomorrow off the camera. I'm gonna get some coffee, but I can, I can wait. I was gonna, I'm gonna do that tomorrow off the camera. I'm gonna do some research first, but oh, this is great. It's starting to look great. Now this is like a two-person job to be honest, because like this can get really difficult to like lock in place. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this. You got this. But uh, yeah, because like I'm not sure. I think I've seen some. I think you can put shingles plant and moss moss poles, but yeah. Uh, I also want to put my pink splash tingonium in here because like, you know, I just want to see its actual form and it looks so pretty. I also have, oh, my tingonium batik as well because like that guy's getting, this, that one's actually starting to vine. And what, if he wants to vine, then he can do that. And he will get a moss pole, so. Yes. Uh, okay. But like, this is pretty self-explanatory, like you just like, Guess what's playing the most? You get it moist, you get this wire, you it's very like it's like I said, it's hard. It's not like the plastic one. You get you gotta like force it in. I'm also getting poked, but it's fine. I'm not bleeding. Um yeah. I'm actually very excited. I was at uh the the one that they sent me is like a Arizona oblica. It's an oblica, something like that. It's like a tissue culture one and it doesn't look like an oblica, but supposedly like it's because it's a baby, it was, like I said it was tissue cultured. So hopefully if I give it a moss pole, it might, you know, make those iconic leaves. Uh, yeah, and then, I don't know, I'm more obsessed with Singonians whenever they have mature leaves. Also my skeleton Tiki. Oh, a Steve Blue. Now I do not have a, I have like massive Steve Blues, but I only have like, you know, baby Steve Blues, like for the, this. So I might probably get some Steve Blues so I can place it in moss poles. But yeah, like, I don't know, I love how moss poles Make some much more well, plants develop their mature leaves, and sometimes they just look super difficult. Like, I just love it. So, I'm gonna put this in here. But yes, you guys, I'm so excited for the furniture to come on! I'm also like expecting to see those comments like down the line. Like, people saying, like, wow, like your boyfriend buys all this and stuff like that. Like, his family thinks that. Like, he's very, this is getting very too personal, but. You guys are my family. He's very detached with his family and um, for personal reasons. And I tried everything that I can to fix that problem, but I guess they got a wrong perspective of me. And then they started accusing me of like using him and stuff like that. When in reality, like literally from the old apartment to the old rental home to this apartment to everything, 
I always use my name because my credit score is a lot better than his. Because uh, like I work hard, like I, he doesn't really mind about his financial status. And I, I was like, it's so important because if you want to get a house, credit score, sweetie, bar, like sweetie honey buns, it's really, very important. Like we want to qualify for a good home and like low interest. Like, we don't want to pay too much in interest. Um, so yeah, but uh, I don't know, it's, it gets complicated, but I work on my own and I, I try to do my part and work on my credit score and do my best and I, I'm actually the one that runs everything like from the accounts because I love, I don't know, I love finance <laughs> and I'm really fascinated with the credit scores even though it's the most dumbest thing out there but I like it and like I said if I want to be there for my family and offer them a home but if they ever want to come by my brothers, my little brothers whenever they want to stay over I want to make, I want to have, you know, be it, I want to, I don't know how you call it but I just want to offer everything for them as much as I can um, so yeah, but credit score is really important. Uh, if you want to get a house and a car, no, I do have a great dad. I can like he knows people and he he's a mechanic. But we have problems as well. I don't know. Everybody has every family has problems. <laughs> so yeah, it just happens. You just gotta smile, stay positive, and move on. You can't just keep on. I don't know. I, I don't want to get personal on that, but. Okay, so yeah, I bought a lot of a lot of plants. I was honestly doing pretty good not buying any plants. I was like in a kind of not even on a no plant buy. I was just like in, in a really tight budget in my head. As y'all saw from that video when I was watching that scandapsis, girl, if I wasn't having the mentality that I had back then, or if I had the mentality like I have right now, like when I was shopping all these, I would have 50 50 possibly bought that plant. But what would have stopped me is I do have some viewers that viewers that do live in San Antonio, Texas and have the Skandapsis Exotic as a wish list. And if I'm able to film in that location and they're like nearby and they're been on the hunt for that and I can help them save gas and time and just show them where it's at and they can go and pick it up, boom. Like that's a lot more, you know, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. But if I wasn't doing videos, I wouldn't really have the mentality and I would have just took it like any other person would as well. Um, so, majority of people. I can't speak for everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done, you guys. I'm putting a lot of zip ties. Like, these are really, really free. And I really want it to be secure. My fingers are starting to hurt. I really want it to be secure. Ah! Ah! It keeps opening! <laughs> and I want it to be, like, closed and tight. <sighs> okay. I love it, you guys. I'm so excited. It's kind of like low key ghetto. Like, <laughs> I'm not really good at this. I'm not a pro. Like I so said, this is literally my second mask that I'm making right now, but I love it. And the fact that I can make it myself. Because, like, mask can get kind of expensive, like low key. Like, we all know. We know. Like, if you've been on the, like, looking for some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a lot better to make it for yourself if you can do it and if you have the time for it. Because other people are really, really busy and they don't mind paying for that price tag, but. No, it's not that bougie. <laughs> okay. Ah, it fell off. <laughs> I don't know if I should like, you know, put it in the pot already or start with the next moss pole. Mm, I don't know. I think I might just put it to like motivate me. I might just put it in the, uh, in the terracotta pot and place the next plant. Okay, here it is now. Super duper excited. And uh, yeah, like I'm just so hyped for this. It's gonna be like this actually. It's not gonna be like that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut off this. Oof. Like, I'm gonna give you guys some close ups. It's really like it's, it wants to open and it's bending the metal, but there's enough zip ties in here. I think I put one, two, three, four, five, six. I put six zip ties. And this is a. Wait. Like I said, I'll have a link down below so you can go check out the size. It's five feet long, not the height, but it's long. So I can make a lot of moss pulls with this. It was $27, kind of expensive, but if you think about it, you can make a lot of them. And I really prefer this and the plastic ones because they just stay sturdy and they don't move around. I hate that so much. And I hate seeing like my soil being lifted around. There's ways to fix that, like you can put rocks or something like that, but I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> it gets way too heavy. So it's pretty lightweight and it's very firm. Like it just stays, like it stays. I love it. Yay, okay. What was I gonna place in here? Okay, I have like a lot of plants. I also have some 
dragon's tail that I want to pot up with this, like really bad. But I only have, I have this one, two, three. The lady was so nice to catch her. She ended up dragging all of us for a break. Okay, I have four more, so I got five. One for the dragon toe, single and pink splash. Me add a sony eye and single and batik. Okay, I'm gonna go get my single and batik. You guys have to fill this up with. Oh my god, that's kind of hard. Or should I get the dragon toe? I don't really see it. I have. Mm, I'm gonna figure it out. Also, I need like a better container because this is not. I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. Let me go pause the video and get the plants that I need and something. Oh, I can just use this. Because I want something to let me put soil. I know they sell. Okay, I cannot hide this. I got this really cute thing for my cat because, um, like, pig nails. They're, they're friendly for cats. I want to use it for him because, like, I don't want him to be scratching my furniture. Even if I cut his nose, he still is aggressive. Like, he scratches him. He has stuff to scratch on, but. He loves scratching the furniture and I like getting it. Okay. But let me get um the stuff that I need. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, I am bum. So I got what I needed. We're gonna, I think it's called the God damn it. Dragon. Dragon. I'm gonna put the name on the screen. But we're gonna do this one. I have three of them. And we're gonna go pop them up. I thought I had more to go inside. I think I gave some to my I think I gave one to my boyfriend and one to my mom. Uh, I'm using my favorite potty mix, which is from Walmart. It's called Expert Gardener Potty Mix, and I'm using I'm adding some extra bark, and um, it's just like your, it's another bag. It's an orchid mix, and it has bark and uh, charcoal and perlite. It's called Better Grow Special Orchid Potty Mix. I got it from Lowe's, and my soil is from Walmart. I like it because it's cheap and it's honestly pretty good like soil. Like, I love it. It also has pieces of bark. And my plants do pretty good on it. Too, so that's all that I need to see to continue using it. I also like to add more uh, perlite on my soil just for the aesthetics and a little bit of you know aeration and stuff like that. Which I don't have right now perlite and I just I wasted so much money today and like I don't really need it. Like I'm adding so much bark in this. Okay. Ah. I love this table so much. Like it really does help me a lot. It's gonna help a lot for the videos, but how do you say it? It's like it's making the room, like the plant room a lot more smaller. <laughs> it looks like I'm making like tamales, like the masa. I want to make some tamales so bad. Okay. I'm like breathing so much, and I feel like I'm taking up all of that. <laughs> Dust is fine though. We're gonna go and put my chairs beside because I can't. We're gonna go and put some tierra aquí. I have my little thing over here so I can just pour it back. First, I like to get my moss pole and I like to place it in the thing right in the middle. And then I just add tierra, the potty mix that we're gonna use. I'm gonna fill it up like halfway and then you're gonna add your plant. Now, obviously, this four inch pot is not gonna fit in here, but so what I do, I just like loosen up the soil and I just put the plant in there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here it is. Here is the root system, the ones that like to look at the roots. Just gonna go and mess with it a little bit. Wanna like tickle it. So you can like open up a little bit. If you do break some damage some roots, it's perfectly fine. As long as you're giving it, you know, like enough light and you're taking good care of it, it should recover. The worst case in the real like it just will not do anything for you for a couple weeks or sometimes months. But yeah, it's fine. I have a lot of time like here. Like I days go by so fast in here, like I don't even care. <laughs> like I don't know for me, like, like I said, like days are just going so way too quick way way too quick for me okay and i'm going to do this 
like there was like literally you know you can see i wish i had like more money so i can buy a better like camera and also a better mic and stuff like that for y'all but your boy's not that rich right now okay i am manifesting it but i'm not rich okay so i'm gonna shove it in there and get the next one i'm gonna put three chunks in here because like this was so dry just like why not and it should make it a lot easier for me to water because I got two, pl two less plants to water. This is like so dry. The pot mix is pretty nice. It's like, it looks like um, peat moss with some perlite. It's usually what, what a lot of nurseries do because it's pretty cheap. And it's the plants kind of like it. I don't know if I told it because I, I, this was like my second time doing this and talking. Um, I am gonna go and like give this a grow light on top. This is the one that uh, the company sent me when I got my variegated hot blue from Go Light Greenhouse. It got a lot bigger, and I'm super excited for it to like. Uh, this is the thing about terracotta pots. This is my first, kind of like one of my first doing this, like taking this from the terracotta pot. That happened. It just gets a little bit difficult. Ooh. this as well and now i have a new terracotta pot this is perfect for my it's a little bit too big but it's okay he'll grow for my variegated heart, heart my, my variegated bear paw i'm also gonna give it a good grow because it can grow pretty good so those two ones that i just did those were my um the ones that i bought from a nursery this is the one that i've been growing you can see all that root system it's like literally insane I'm really hoping I can get it to like go up. I think I can. Now there is a new leaf and I'm kind of putting pressure. I'm gonna use the old soil because like, girl, I think it's not old bugs and you gotta read this over soil. People are like really fancy like they bake their soil. I'm like scared to do that. Like I don't want to see like a fire. <laughs> God, I'm like literally so excited guys. Like I love moss balls. Like I've always loved seeing moss balls on Instagram or just anywhere. But I've always like, you know, and like, not envy, just the word I'm looking for is like, I always hated watering them and making them as well. Like you can buy them, but a lot of the ones that you, people buy from the, you know, Amazon and stuff like that is from like, uh, Coco or something like that. Like it's not actually spang them moss. And I don't like them at all. Some plants do like that, but other plants, like majority of a lot of errors, they prefer spang them moss to be honest, from whatever. Okay. Super duper excited. I can't really tie this to the moss pole because I do not see, you know, it's not really long enough yet. But I will, whenever I, I can like force it in there, I will do it. Like, yeah, I can't do it. It's just way too short. And here is this one. Love, love, love. Live, love, laugh. Okay, we're gonna do our next one. And then clean up my area a little bit. This is from the cat tray from like, I bought this like cat machine. Like it's a cat litter. And it cleans my uh, my cat's cat litter. It was like $200 on PetSmart. <laughs> but it's totally worth it. Like, since I've been getting so busy, I haven't really had time to clean up his cat litter. And I know it's really important to clean them up. So I decided to invest on the purchase on getting him that, and he loves it. Like in the beginning, he was scared of it like any other cat, but I love it. He uses it like nothing, and it's great. I love it. So, love that. But you need to buy the replacements. Like you can't just put your, you can if you want to, but um, Valentino, he scratches it so aggressively. Like he lifts the, the paper from the bottom of the tray. And usually you're supposed to throw those trays away and buy a new one. So yeah, I decided just to do it and I got him a, the new tray. So he has fresh cat litter now. That machine is supposed to last like 30 days for one cat. This guy poops a lot, so it's like 20 days or 15 days. Mm. So good. Let's go and see he has a thicker moss pole. But I think it, it doesn't need to be that thick. Okay, like I said, I don't give you guys Oh my god, I love the way it looks! <laughs> it really is super cute. Like, 
so excited for it to like grow up. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna bring this guy again. We're gonna do this all over again, you guys. Mm, I was like, is it recording right now? I'm like so blank. It's so far away. Okay, I forgot how much I used, so. As y'all can see, it's like really bad. But, um. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna come in tomorrow. Cause it was supposed to come in the day before yesterday, but something happened. So it was gonna come in yesterday, but they had to push it. So it's gonna come in tomorrow. And uh, this time I really do think it's gonna come in tomorrow because like, I actually got an email to confirm the order. And I didn't get that other, other time. So that means like it's actually gonna come, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just like so excited. Like, uh, my family's gonna love it. Like, my boyfriend couldn't go because he didn't want to go. My mom didn't want to go. She was really, really tired from work. I was thinking of her to bring her because she loves going shopping and doing this kind of stuff, but she was really, really tired. And then the only person I wanted to go was my brother. So he went with me and we just fell in love with it. Like, it was just amazing. Uh, Oh my god, this is getting a little bit. Like, this is hurting my fingers, y'all. Maybe I'm doing it incorrectly, but damn. Ah. I mean, it's a lot better than the... What do you call it? A lot better than the nail clippers. Oh my god, I almost cut the wrong side. By the way, so you guys let me know if you guys have done any like moss poles. If you have, give us some tips because I know like there's a lot of different ways to make moss poles. Everybody has like, you know, their ways to make it and like they have their tip, like their, how can you say it? Like, mm. Yeah, everybody like, has their unique ways to take your moss poles and like make them as well. But also like, let me know what kind of plants you have down on your moss poles. Like I want to know. I want to put my, some of my scandapses. I feel like scandapses, they get the leaves smaller. Like I said, sometimes it's um, low light or it could be because, you know, poor light or it can be nutrients. It's not getting enough nutrients. It could be uh, its environment, a lot of reasons, but majority of the time it's light or it needs support. And I love scandapses so much, but I hate when they get small leaves and just photo vines, like just a bunch of vines. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> that's not my style. But yeah, so here it is. There's so much I cut. You guys can see my disease. It's like so. Yeah, that's literally perfect. I'm gonna like band it even more. Let's do this. No, but since I'm getting like the entire set, like the dining table and like the, the sofas, I decided to make, I can actually have, you know, parties in here with my family. I had it one time and it was the worst. Like it was just so awkward. Like everybody was standing. They don't have a lot of sitting like chairs and stuff like that. <laughs> it was just so bad. Um, but now I can have them over. Like I love doing it so much. Like, I, I love making family gatherings. And <clears throat> so let's them out there in my throat. I knew it. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. But I have a lot of sitting space now. So I'm excited for that. And I was telling my mom, like, I want to do like a Valentine's party. Like, I want a lot of us to get together and do something together. Like, I would love to like be the dinner Italian. Now, I just thought about this. Like, I just love lasagna and Alfredo. And I feel like everybody loves that as well with garlic bread and Caesar salad. <laughs> um, but like, Italian is like kind of like romantic, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of cute, it goes with the theme. But yeah, and I was thinking like, I kind of want to do like, like kind of like secret Santa, but like, I just want us to like, give each other gifts. Like it has to be like $15 the value or less. So everybody can do it. Um, and I would love to like Valentino, my mom's cat Nico and Mocha be on the list as well. And I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to represent Valentino, my baby. He's my boyfriend, Israel. He's gonna represent Mocha, our dog. She was with her mom, we shared the dog. And our mom is gonna represent Nico. So they can get something too, they get exchange. 
but I think it'll be super cute. I'm already like starting to buy. I'm going to do an update, maybe like a houseplant updates or a houseplant apartment tour. <laughs> it was so confusing, but and you guys can see like the decor and everything. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm just, I always loved a Vanna's Mr. Core, but I never like found like a chiste. Like I never found like the points of it other than like, you know, just making your home, like, you know, just making it look pretty for yourself, for, for your family. But for me, like, I'm just like, like no one cares. Like, but like now I have a reason to buy Vanna's Mr. Core. Um, so yeah, I've been going to Walmart and stuff like that. I love Walmart. I know, even though like, I know the, the business is like the main people, something about like the company, like the family, like, they're shady. I don't know. I I've been hearing it, but gotta look into it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, I feel like again, I'm gonna give you guys close to what I'm talking about, but like the um the middle like wants to open so you can see like that. But I feel like if I wrap it with twine a little bit, like around and then back up again, it'll look even cuter and they will fix that problem. But I feel like the plants won't have enough, you know, room to attach th themselves. But even then, roots always find their way. But I'll see, like, I cause I, I don't mind it, but I feel like if I'm gonna make one for my mom or something like that, like I want it to look cute. So that's something that I might look into or try to do. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go and put the zip ties in here. Ah, this is that, yo. Someone got mad, I was like singing out of the videos. But like got bothered. I'm like, baby, like, that's just the way I am. Like people like, some people like, some people don't. And the reason why sometimes I like sing like my intros or something like that like, throughout the video, is because I'm either like stressed out <laughs> or I'm, I'm getting like in social anxiety or something like that. And singing just calms me down. Even I sound like a dying horse. <laughs> I like to sing, it, it calms me down, so. I do it for myself, so I can, you know, be okay. So I'm just gonna focus because I need to put it in the hole. And I'm just doing it with one hand. Okay, good. But I just wanna make sure it's tight because the beginning of the thing is kind of important. But yeah, like that's why I sing sometimes <laughs> with my words. Cause like, <sighs> I'm getting stressed out or something like that. But yeah, okay. I love these videos. Like, I hope you guys love them as well. Some people love them, some people don't. I wish I'd make content for everybody to enjoy. Lord have mercy, this is hurting my, my fingers so bad. It's the metal, it's like you're bending the metal and it's... Ah, hold on. Okay, let me use my palms. Maybe that should help me a little bit. Okay. This part is always so finicky. But it's always so satisfying when you finish. Okay, got it. Oh. Yes, girly. Shit. Okay. Yay! Okay, see, the more I do this, the better I get. You know, let's just love it, love it. Practice makes perfect, right? Oh my god. Because you guys, I will have this link on bro below for real. It did take really long to come here for some reason, but it was so worth it. Like I hate the plastic ones. I know some people like because it it's cheap and affordable, and you can get it almost anywhere. Um, I don't. I tried to find these metal ones, but I couldn't. I went to like two Lowe's and three WalMarts and two Home Depots or one Home Depot, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> and I was like, you know, what? I just gave up, and I was like, let me just get it from Amazon. And yeah, it came in. Um, but yeah, it was so worth it. Like, I love it. Oh my God, this is looking so much better. Wow, girl, like, wow. <laughs> oh. oh my God. No, cause like my mom, she's so cute. Like she literally got some, cause um, Dollar Tree is like selling macrame hangers, macrame hangers. And she got me like three of them. Oh my God, she's so cute. And I love them so much. Like I have it in my living room, the macrame. I will show you guys like I and a husband tour and a husband updates. Um, video because usually that's how I show you guys everything, but I need to film one please because I haven't done it for a while. Ah. <sighs> yeah, like I don't know, maybe holding it incorrectly. Like maybe there's a better way to hold it because like I'm dumb. But <sighs> girl, okay. A little bit of pain for something to be forever. I right, so I'm gonna cry if these open. I don't think they're gonna open because I'm gonna be locked with a lot of zip ties. 
but never say never. Okay. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I don't know, these past have been so chaotic. I hope you guys have been having a calm. Y'all have been having a chaotic day as well, and I hope it gets better for y'all. Everything happens for a reason, y'all. I'm going to do this. We're gonna get wiser and stronger. <laughs> what am I saying? I sound so stupid. The coffee's getting into me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, last one. I know, you're supposed to be looking at it, but looking at it make me sh makes me shake. So you just like look away and I just like feel it. I just jinx myself. Y'all, the cannabis plant. Did you even show you guys the cannabis plant? I got a cannabis plant and I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, it was for eight. Yeah, I think I did too, y'all. It was for eight ninety eight at the Home Depot. I love it. It's so big. I've never seen that big before, or for a hot minute. Um, because I know sometimes you can see it like in Walmart or like in your garden and stuff like that, but I haven't seen one for a while, and I was in a good mood. And I saw an anchor message at my boyfriend, big one, he has incredible plants. And I was like, we'll get one. Like, these look so freaking good. And he got one. And I was like, mm, let me get one too. Just in case. Because, you know, I don't want to try again. Because I've had some bad experiences with um, cannabis plants. But I wonder if you put it like, in a small pot. You low key can, but like, the person's not going to have that much space. Like, you're going to need to repot pretty soon. Okay. I think it would look good in a medium pot. I kind of need to record a pot, to be honest. Okay, my hands are like really starting to like ache a little bit. You're crying like a little baby. We're gonna do my single name boutique next, cause like, I don't know, I kinda wanna seal it like in its mature form. Ouch. And yeah, not so I need to stand up now and do this for y'all. Let me get my little puppy. Yo, this looks so much better. Like I'm telling it gets better and better. Uh, this is my third moss hole. I did my first one on Instagram. Instagram took my virginity away. I'll make a moss pose. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. Sure. Now, it is really important to make sure that you're zip tying it, like the lines are even and it's perfectly straight on top. You don't want to like overdo it because then it won't sit still. Um, it could still work, but if it's even, this is a lot easier because it can just stay still while you're doing this. Okay, let me see what Now this grows in a kind of a big pot. I could just get like a cutting from it. I had like a stick for the longest period of time. And I might save this stick because I got it from my mom's house a while back. And it has memories for me now, so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put it for a... There you go, for my skindapsis. So here it is, the Sanguina Boutique. She got really big. I don't know, for me like... People obsessed with this one, which is perfectly fine. Like, you know, whatever you love and do everything, you know, whatever it tickles your pickle, but for me, like, it looks a lot like a white butterfly sanguinium to me. Like, no, girl. <laughs> but it was a gift from a company and it's doing really, really good with me. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it. And it's, you know, it's a plan. I'm gonna go in, tickle the roots. Pretty good root system. I hate doing this. I rarely ever do this, like remove the soil, but it has its benefits, you know? You can put fresh soil around these roots. Now you are just throwing the root system, but a lot of these plants are pretty hardy, like they're pretty tough. So, um, you yeah, know, it's pretty fun. I gotta wrap the roots, I gotta open it, actually. My big bear go. Oh, better get a bear paw. Yeah. Oh my god, these are so intertwined. Uh, intertwined. I hate that I can never say words correctly, so. Ooh, ooh, this is a, actually, oh my god. I'm doing it at the part where I cut the metal and like those pokey parts are like stabbing the roots. Which is not really cute. Okay. Now I'm gonna use old soil and use it because it's still really good soil. It was like, a, mm, like, how old was this? Six, four months ago? But again, it's not bad. Not bad at all. At all. 
And I don't like to rinse soda away because that girl gets expensive. When you, when you start adding like a lot of stuff in it, like no. You're not throwing that away. Okay. Oh my God, you guys. Now this girl, it's pretty tall. So she might catch up all the way to the top of the mosque pretty soon. But I saw some videos on how I can fix that. Usually you can just extend it or you can just chop, um, well, yeah, you extend it. Yeah, that's basically what you do. You extend it, you let it grow even more. And if it, if it grows again, the other moss ball, the same size as this one on top, then you chop it and you propagate it. Um, that's what I've seen. So that's what I might do on mine. This one also has money bugs. Well, it had money bugs. I haven't seen any for a while, so I don't know. But yeah. I'm gonna try to tie it around the moss pole. Um, I do have this wire. I can also use zip ties, honestly. I, think zip ties. I was using like a metal thing, but girl, that's too much. <laughs> if it can reach, to be honest, if it can reach. No, it's not gonna reach. Okay. I'm gonna use a wire. This came with the with the mesh thing, the green thing. And I'm gonna reuse it because like why not? Perfect for this. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm so sorry. There we go. You see a little bit of the plant. It's a beautiful symbolium. I really do hope this can find its way out because, like, the nodes are not, I mean, they're on, the nodes are hitting the, the moss pole. I just to make sure the moss pole is moist, because if not, it's not gonna stick to it. It's not gonna stick. I'm gonna have this room pretty humid now. I might turn on the humidifier again. Um, last time I had it, it was doing really, really good. It made my plants develop insane air roots, because they like the humidity. But I got a little bit way too cocky, and I set the humidity, the humidifier to like 80% humidity and it set up the alarm alarm um system thing because i was googling it and the water part particles when it's so dense in the air it confuses the machine and it thinks it's smoke so never that again but it was set up again and maybe it's activated to like 60 percent 65 percent humidity in the plant room and hopefully that can that's pretty good humidity but this idea was way too obsessive and yeah, I might just do it again. Cause back then like, the humidity in the plant room was pretty humid. It was always like 60% humidity, like constantly wet up the humidifier. But since I've been using the heater a lot more and it is cold out, it's probably a lot drier in here. But um, yes. So that's basically for this Simulina Boutique. I'm really hoping it can stick. And um, yeah, she looks good. And also she's not moving around. She makes me super duper happy. Now we have two more big pots, and I do have what the pink splash syngonium and my what was the other one that I said? See, this is why I should have had it. Oh, my my oblique. Well, the one I said is not big. This is this one. Just we're really really bad. But I said this is not big. And the nose are so together. But we're gonna find out. This one dries out like crazy. Honestly, you guys, this got way too long, but again, I think you guys are okay with it. So I'm gonna continue. It's just like, I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> um, yes. <clears throat> okay, I got the next one. I'm gonna clean up my table a little bit. I do wanna film a... and for video pretty soon. So those are so fun to watch. Like I love them so much, and it motivates me to like do plant chores. But there's it's a lot of editing, and I hate editing myself. I used to love editing back then, but I just started hating it now. I don't know why. I don't like it. Okay. God, this is really like she's aggressive. <laughs> okay. Damn, it's gonna be a little bit dizzy like looking at it. Um, is that too big? That is a little bit too big. Let me go back out. Uh, oh, there's a fungus not coming in. And my, my pretty face. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna start cutting now. Hey! Let me know if you guys are gonna try this. I would love to see pictures. Hi! guys, I'm gonna do this. I'm already getting tired and I don't know I need to edit this really long video. I'm gonna do the rest off the camera and I'm gonna have my boyfriend like do some with me because I know he wants some mouse pulls. So um, we, we can do some together and just have a bonding time. But I honestly love the way it looks. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up on how it's looking. I do gotta go prep against some silver blues because I also want to do some for the silver blues. It is literally obsessed. Like Oh my god, it's so aesthetically pleasing. So the thing that I saw from that girl is she gets like a water bottle and then she just places it like this and it should just drip to the thing. Now obviously that's not gonna work, but I am just gonna go and like, honestly, I was doing it this way. I remember back then when it was dry, it would just, I use how you say it, it would just go over and make a mess. But maybe because it's moist, it's not spilling over. So I guess every single day, I'm gonna like just keep watering these. Um, I'm gonna get these saucers, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. This is my first one that I have ever made. As you can see, I over overdid it way too much. I thought I needed a lot, but I didn't. And this is the skeleton key. See, so it doesn't, no, you can't really see it on this one. This is the second one that I did. Instead of figuring out that I don't need that much. It is like, you know, doing that over. Like it wants to open, but it looks pretty good. Now this is the thing that I was talking about, like it's kind of hard to like shove it in there. And this has like barely any growth. This is gonna be super duper slow. And then lastly, it's a Singonium Batik. Yeah, she's gonna go and climb this. Her air roots are right over here. I wanted to spin around the moss pole and hopefully it can develop good leaves. Um, sorry, you know, mature leaves. Yeah, so and this is the third one that I made, which looks a lot better than this guy. But hey, we all start somewhere. <laughs> Or it's going to key was my first guy. Yes, you guys, that's basically it. I'm literally super duper excited. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's new video. It was a very long one. And honestly, I might not edit the name on the screen. I think you guys already found that out. I will have it in the comment section linked down below. All the names that I ended up doing over here. I'm gonna have the comments pinned the names of the plants, especially the one that I couldn't pronounce or know what it was called. And then I will have also all the products that I used on the description box, the links to Amazon. So yeah, and the ones that I got from the big box stores, I should have find something similar to it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. So many positive rest to each and every one of y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.